a warm welcome to all of you. Today we are discussing structure of chromosomes. What are chromosomes? Chromosomes are highly condensed form of chromatin fibers. Yes, where you can see this chromatin fibers? Chromatin fibers present inside the nucleus. Yes, in all the cells, even plants and animal cells. Yes, which is the control center. Nucleus is the control center of the cell. Then inside the nucleus, yes, chromatin fibers are there, nucleolus, then nucleoplasm. These are the different substances present inside the nucleus. Then these chromatin fibers condense to form. Here you can see these chromatin fibers condense to form chromosomes. Who discovered chromosomes? Walter Fleming. He is a German scientist. Chromosomes in animals were first studied by Walter Fleming. He noticed that salamander larvae, the la rapidly dividing cells of salamander larvae, the chromosomes first find out in salamander larvae. Remember these points? Let us learn the structure of chromosomes. Yes, chromosomes consist of two sister chromatids. Then these two sister chromatids joined at a particular area. That point of contact of two sister chromatids are called centromere. Then what are the main points you have to remember in chromosomes? First one, chromosomes consist of two sister chromatids. Then the next point, the point of attachment of two sister chromatids are called centromere. What is the major function of centromere? Yes, centromere serves to attach to the spindle fibers during cell division. Here you can see these are the spindle fibers. These strands we call it as spindle fibers that is arising from the centrosome. Centrosome is a is cell organelle present in animal cell. Don't confuse with centrosome and centromere. You know that what is centromere? Yes, centromere is the point of contact between two sister chromatids. Then these spindle fibers arising from the centrosome attach to the centromere of chromosome. Yes. Then here you can see there are different types of chromosomes are there. It is based on the position of centromere that will vary. Yes, sometimes centromere is at the top or sometimes it is between the yes, or the center of the two sister chromatids like that. Then we can say each chromosome centromere is located at a particular site. Right. What is the fate of chromatids after cell division? Yes, during cell division, chromatin fibers contains to form chromosomes. That you know. Yes, what is chromosomes? Condensed form of chromatin fibers are called chromosomes. This consists of two sister chromatids. Then sister chromatids you can see only during cell division. Then what will happen after cell division? After cell division, these chromatids decontains or revert to form chromatin fibers. Again, it will convert it into chromatin fibers after cell division. What is chromatin? All of you know that decondensed form or revert form of chromatids called chromatin, right? That means chromatids decondensed to form chromatin fibers. Here you can see in this picture is chromatids decondensed to form chromatin fibers. Then what is the major constituents of this chromatin? Yes, 
the, mainly there are two major constituents are there two major substances first one dna dna means deoxyribonucleic acid 40 percentage of is chromatin consists of dna then the next one that is histones what is histones histones is a particular type of proteins present in chromatin here you can see yes these are histones histone proteins that is a particular type of protein present in chromatin then chromatin means there are two substances are there dna and histones dna 40 percent and histones 60 percent 60 percent of chromatin consists of histones 40 percent of chromatin consists of dna the full form of dna is very important deoxyribonucleic acid what is a nucleosome Yes, nucleosome means a single DNA strand wind around a core of eight histones. Histones are proteins present in chromatin. Then a single DNA strand plus eight histones called nucleosome. Is like this you can see in a human chromosome there are millions of nucleosomes are there. Yes, this is a single nucleosome. This is histones plus DNA strand. Then like this, millions of nucleosomes you can see in a single human chromosome. Let us learn the structure of DNA. What is the full form of DNA? Deoxyribonucleic acid. Yes. Can you say who is this scientist? Rosalind Franklin. Yes, who is she? DNA molecule was first studied. DNA molecule was first studied by Rosalind Franklin in 1953. Who discovered double helical structure of DNA? Yes, Watson and Crick. They got Nobel Prize in 1962. This is the double helical structure we can learn in detail. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. Yes. DNA is a very large single molecule. Here you can see is it's very large single molecule. That's why that is called macromolecule. Two complementary strands wound around each other in a double helix. Here you can see is two complementary strands are there in a DNA molecule that wound around each other in a double helix then these complementary strands consist of nucleotides each single dna strand is composed of repeating nucleotides here you can see is yes, these are the dna strands that is composed of repeating nucleotides you can learn in detail What is a nucleotide? DNA strand is composed of nucleotide. Each DNA strand composed of nucleotide. It's mainly nucleotide consists of three components. Phosphate group, then pentose sugar, nitrogen space. Here you can see phosphate group, pentose sugar, nitrogen space. Then each DNA strand is made up of these three components. How it will be arranged in the DNA strand? Phosphate and sugar. 
here you can see is in a DNA strand phosphate and sugar lengthwise nitrogenous base nitrogenous base attached to the sugar inward yes this is the arrangement of phosphate sugar and nitrogenous base in DNA strand these three components together we call it as nucleotide yes you can see here nitrogenous base nitrogenous base extends nitrogenous base extends to join the complementary nitrogen base from the other strand by hydrogen bond these two complementary nitrogen base is from each strand is connected by hydrogen bond Nitrogenous base. Nitrogenous base, we call it as trux of the ladder because that arranged inward from each strand that arranged inward. That's why that is called trux of the ladder. Mainly there are four types of nitrogenous base are there in DNA. They are adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Always you remember adenine bond with thymine. Here you can see A. Adenine bo always bonding with thymine by two hydrogen bond. Then guanine. Guanine always bond with cytosine. Guanine and cytosine, adenine and thymine. Adenine and thymine bond with two hydrogen bond. Guanine and cytosine bond with three hydrogen bond. This is very important. You have to remember this. Formation of new DNA. This is happens in interphase. It's a phase in cell cycle. We can say this is a preparing stage for cell division or resting phase of cell cycle this will prepare this interface will prepare the cell for cell division then this interface stage dna will replicate that means this dna strand will is duplicate how it will happen DNA replication that is happening in interface stage. Remember this interface stage. We will study that in detail. What is interface? What are the different stages of interface, etc. Now we are yes, just going through the different steps of DNA replication. Here also we are not going to the details. What are the major steps? First one, double helix opens at one end making the two strands free here you can see this is a double helical structure of dna then at the time of dna replication what will happen the double helix opens at one end and making two strands free the next step to these opponents what will happen new strands begins to form yes then this process will continues in a sequence for the whole length of the DNA. The same time the old strand unwinds, then that process will continue in a sequence for the whole length of the DNA. These are the major steps happening in DNA replication. What are genes? Genes are specific sequence of nucleotides on a chromosome here you can see a specific sequence of nucleotides on a chromosome that encode a particular protein that encode particular proteins which express in the form of some particular feature of the body here you can see this is a particular protein or a specific sequence of nucleotides on a chromosome that encode particular 
proteins which express in the form of some particular feature of the body this is another is protein then that is called gene very important for definition what are genes once again genes are specific sequence of nucleotides on a chromosome that and got a particular protein here you can see proteins which express in the form of some particular feature of the body revision define the following first one genes what is the definition of genes genes are specific sequence of nucleotides on a chromosome that encode particular proteins which express in the form of some particular feature of the body that is the definition of genes very important the next one nucleosome what are nucleosomes is a dna strand wind around a core of eight histones that is called nucleosome chromosomes what is the definition of chromosomes condensed form of chromatin fibers are called chromosomes name the following first one the point of attachment of two chromatids centromere the protein present in chromatin is which protein present in chromatin histone full form of dna very important deoxyribonucleic acid you have to learn the spelling the dna strand wind around a core of eight histone molecules called nucleosome name four nitrogenous bases adenine guanine cytosine and thymine answer the following three components of nucleotides what are the three components of nucleotides phosphate group pentose sugar nitrogenous base then two components of chromatin what are the two components of chromatin dna and histones the bond that connects two complementary nitrogen base hydrogen bond a macromolecule present in chromatin dna name the phase where dna replication occur interphase Thank you, children. Have a good day. If you like my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.